Welcome to the Average Male Moron Channel, where we might get older, but we never actually grow up. Now, when a certain British boy band opined that they were going over the hills and far, far away, this is not what they had in mind. This is the only USGA sanctioned six hole golf course west of the Mississippi. We're at Kinzu Hills, or we're about to play 18, three hole, th six holes at a time, going around it three times, which makes it nice because after all six holes, you're right back at your car to get a refill. One of the best parts about this course, it's only a dollar a hole. And so when you play here, your first go around and your third go around, you play the same tees. The other interesting part, back to back par threes. Hole two's a par three, hole three's a par three. At Kinzu, you're encouraged to take one of their many push carts for free. I've named mine Squeaky Blinders. The scenery around here is absolutely gorgeous. This is an amazing and beautiful golf course. Now I'm on the fourth tee box. The only problem is I have no clue where I'm hitting the ball to. I see that here's four. I go back across three and somewhere over there, I should find a hole. Of course, I've done it. I've found the sand, the entire patch of sand that only I could hit. This is all of it. That's all the sand there is. There's the flag, there's the hole. And I've managed to hit the only postage size patch of sand on the entire course. Oh, squeaky blinders, on up the trail we go. Some of the course's finest employees have come to say hi. Fellas, thanks for the great round. Through World War II, Kinzu was a bustling timber town. Now, it's a ghost town. The only remnants of Kinzu that are left from World War II is this golf course. Even through the 50s, they still sported a minor league baseball team. But now, the only USGA sanctioned six hole golf course west of the Mississippi is the only thing they have left. Kinzu finishes on a 219 yard hole six or hole 18. Right back up to the clubhouse. Around Thursday nights, they have a community potluck. So if you come in here and plan on your visit to the only USGA sanctioned six hole golf course west of the Mississippi, come on a Thursday and stay for the potluck. Pepper will be happy to caddy for you. You might even see the course supervisor, which is also a black tailed deer. Boy, well, I may have been just short on 18, but at least I didn't find the second of only two sand traps on the entire course. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a great afternoon. Tune in next time for more Average Male Moron Adventures.